Hey there guys, how are you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome back to the channel where today you join me in Port de Palenza here in Mallorca and I'm going to just take you guys around for a little walk, show you what's what, just take in the lovely scenery and atmosphere. So let's go. Now today I believe is a Spanish public holiday so it's really busy out and about which is nice because it means there's a great atmosphere and I tell you what, look, talking of great things, just take a look at that great view with the mountains there in the background. And this is the first time that we've ever been to this area. We're currently staying in Alcudia or just outside of Alcudia. So it makes a refreshing change to come somewhere uh, just a little bit different. And yeah, all the bars and restaurants are really heaving, ain't they? They are packed. They seem busy down here, yeah. Now this is being recorded in 4K HDR, so if you've got a compatible display, this should look particularly nice and I can't wait to try it out on my uh, OLED TV when I get back. should look absolutely mint. So yeah, it's a real buzz about the place in, in there at the moment. We've, really struggled to uh, find somewhere to park up to be honest I think we got lucky in that car park so just over to the right here we've got a it's like a sort of private swimming pool now uh, we're starting I don't know what is it sort of halfway along I, I, I'm so, just sort of guessing at this um, this way seems to be all the more bars and restaurants and it's more pedestrianised where up the other way there seems to be like a cycle path and uh, it's more for beach goers than that but talking of beaches just take a look over here the sand I tell you what we'll go and take a closer look is absolutely beautiful nice golden sand and it's quite quiet on the beach to be fair and you've got this uh, kids play area which I'm sure they will love whilst the uh, parents lounge out and enjoy the sun. The kids can play there behind them, which I think is a great idea. It's such a lovely day today, it really is. It's about 25, 26 degrees. So quite hot, but not ridiculously hot. That you don't want to be out in it. I wouldn't want it any hotter personally. But coming from the UK, we're not really used to extreme temperatures or anything. So to the locals, I suppose 25 degrees is nothing. Love the trees down here and that looks really nice. Offers a bit of uh, shelter as well from the sun. You can always just stand in the shade if it gets a little bit too much when you're walking along. I know we've done that a couple of times when we've been uh, checking up on our phones. I just quickly pop into the shade of a tree. That is just such stunning scenery there. It really is. Just take a look at that. A little bit quieter down this end with the bars and restaurants. I'm guessing a lot of people have probably had their food now. And next meal will be uh, evening dinner because it is currently 3.46 in the afternoon and I totally forgot to say what month it is. So it is the 12th of October. So it gives you a good idea if you're looking to come to this area of how busy it is. Bearing in mind, like I say, it is a Spanish holiday. So we've got a few sort of gift shops just there. But it's a stark contrast from when we came 12 months ago. Again, not to this location, but just to Mallorca in general. And because of COVID, a lot of places were shut up and uh, we're pretty much the only tourists around. So it's great to see a nice buzz about the place. 
So this looks a great little restaurant just over here. Let's go and quickly take a look over this way. You can imagine that's great in the evening. Just sat out there with the sea surrounding you as you enjoy a nice meal. And I have seen video of that before. It's all lit up nicely. It's very romantic. Funny little island down there. This place looks quite nice. Now I am noticing that there's a lot of cyclists out this way, isn't there? Yeah, quite a lot of cycle shops, a lot of cyclists. But Mallorca, just again as an island, is quite popular with cyclists in general anyway. But this area in particular seems to be, again, quite a few knocking about. I know there is an Ironman event on in Alcudia in a few days' time. So I expect a lot of people are practicing for that. Some nice big palms there. Get a length on that. Yeah, again, it's picking up a little bit. And um, quite a busy restaurant just there. All the bikes. <laughs> yeah. And we are absolutely Hank Marvin, aren't we? We always seem to be when we're doing some recording. We seem to always want to be going for a meal or something. So you think I'm recording for a national television the way everyone keeps looking. <laughs> Maybe they, they think it's Arnie on his holiday. But it's nice, isn't it? All the sort of plants and yeah. trees and that round here. It's, a bit more traditional, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is tr more traditional, yeah. Even sort of uh, the flooring looks more traditional, doesn't it? Everybody starts staring. I'm going to start waving back. <laughs> Again, great if you want to come down to the beach and you're someone who maybe enjoys the beach but doesn't enjoy sitting out in the sun being burnt to a crisp, then this could be a, yeah, it could be a great place to come because you've got obviously all this shade just here. And I must admit, when we go to the beach, I'm not a fan of sitting out, burning up. You don't mind it so much, do you? No. You'll sit there all day long and shriv shrivel up like a prune. I'm guessing that the uh, so fish here you can smell yeah, fish, can smell it, can you? or someone ain't washed, one or the other. <laughs> Now I've also done another video um, walking along, where was it? Alcudia Seafront, wasn't it? Yeah. And back down through the shops. And if you want to see that, I'll put a link to that in the description. And we will also be doing one from Magaluf. We've already done a live stream from Magaluf and Santa Ponza. But they're in lower quality because they were live streamed. But we will be doing a dedicated walk up the strip ah yeah yeah and that will be in 4k so should look nice so we've got a few people out here paddle boarding and we are looking for somewhere to paddle board at the moment because we've brought our own paddle board over just look at it, it looks lush doesn't it, it looks really really, really clear, nice isn't it? 
good thing is it's not much to sand to the beach, is it? No. To the water, sorry. Yeah, so it's, as my partner just said, you know, you've got a path just there. And then straight off to the side, you've got the beach. And then a few feet away from that, you got the, uh, yeah, you got the ocean. Snorkeling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a bit of snorkeling. And that's something, again, that I'll be doing and enjoying the crystal clear waters. I think it could be a good place to come down here, couldn't it? Yeah, it's nice just clear. again, just sort of set it up there, just straight in. The good thing is, we say, you know, you don't, you can sort of sit on the side here. You don't have to get really sandy or anything like that. Yeah, you can see some fish down there. It's a lovely bay, isn't it? Yeah. And looking back over to the mountains just over there, now on the other side of that is Alcudia. No, it's getting a little bit quieter as we move along, uh, heading, I think it's north, I believe. But then the restaurants and bars starting to thin out up this end it's good that they've got like these uh steps down yeah. well, little piers or jetties or whatever you want to call them concrete ones going out to the into the water yeah so you know there's a guy out there doing a bit of fishing just nice to sit out there isn't it really yeah be nice again you could yeah if you're not a fan of the sand you could launch maybe a paddle board from there as you can see it's like a miniature beach between each one of these concrete jetties which is great it sort of keeps it all like separated out and sort of private almost and we have decided that this is where we're going to actually come down and it's take our paddle boards. And again, great with the snorkel, mm. isn't it, really? It's just such an ideal place. You just need to find some other parts to closer. Yeah, that is the problem. Not but hopefully lately. it won't be that bad because it won't be a holiday. And most people will be at work. Now, one thing I have noticed is compared to Alcudia, it feels a lot more laid back. Yeah. A bit more relaxed down this end. So where Alcudia, it's a bit more of a hustle and bustle about the place, isn't there, yeah. really, I'd say. It's a bit more genteel. But I'd say there's a few more older people down this end as well. I think the uh, harbour, marina, whatever, seems to attract uh, more people, hence the restaurants. You get a lot of people obviously will sit there, sit in the, sipping their champagne and whatnot, lording it up. It's not for me that sort of thing really. Doesn't matter how much money I've got, I don't sort of like going for all these swanky restaurants really. Get a li little bit more busier here. Yeah, it does seem to be a bit busier. Which surprises busy. me because I actually seem better back at that bit. Yeah. There you go. But it's nice how they've kept all these nice trees. Mm. They've not, you know, just lobbed them down where a lot of other places might have just done that. Yeah, that is something to notice, to note that down this end, yeah, you haven't got people whizzing past on bikes where at the other end, there does seem to be more of that.
boat just chilling there. Yeah, I think he's chilling over that. Or I had a really good night, a really bad night. Oh, he's moving now, he's all right. Yeah, up there. They've got paddle boards yeah. and there's bloody roof there. Now, these places, what a view they've got in it, to be fair. That looks great. Just imagine coming down from your apartment, out the gate, straight onto the beach. I mean, it can't get any better than that, really, can no, it, to be honest? I mean, it's bordering on being private, almost. Just walk straight out there, not the best apartments I've ever seen, but when it comes to views, can't really be beaten, can it? But yeah, I bet it's great sitting up there, having right. your evening dinner and a drink, just looking out over to that. It's like having a private bar. We certainly don't get views like that out of our windows at home. No just the neighbours and the traffic, unfortunately, and grey, miserable weather, and drunks, and that, and druggies. <laughs> That's something you don't seem to see abroad, really. You don't seem to see no. alcoholics and homeless people sitting about and things like that. You don't seem to get the trouble like we do back in the UK. Maybe they're more stern and with people who are troublemakers and maybe they'll look after their uh, potential homeless people better than we do in the UK. In now just looking up this way we can see there isn't a great deal just looks like a nice walkway going on round with the overhanging trees and I think that's about where we're going to wrap it up with this absolutely gorgeous view looking across the bay there. And if you have enjoyed this video today, please spare me one second of your time to just reach up and hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to check out my other videos. And uh, if you like what I do on the channel, then please think about subscribing. So thanks very much for joining me today. And hopefully I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.